Okay, but let's start step one. Step one says get all angles between naught and 360. Okay, that's step one. So I'm going to add 360 and I'm going to add 360. This leaves me with tan 300. This one is already between naught and 360, so I leave it like that. So I've got cos of 1, 5, 6. This one is already between naught and 360, so I leave it as cos 294. And this one is too large, so I'm going to subtract 360, so it's going to be sine 132. Now let me, let me just quickly teach you guys a, a basic lesson in life. When you write an exam, 50% of the exam is trying to get onto paper exactly what you know. The other 50% is trying to make the examiner understand what you know. So, so make it as simple as possible. Even if you want to go faster. Sir, I want to go fast. Slow down. Whoa. Do it step by step. Like I do it here first, get my angles between 0 and 360. Then in the next step, now I want to get it between 0 and 90. So I'm going to say, well, this is 360 minus 60. This is 180 minus 24. This is 360 minus 66. And this one here is 180 minus 48. Okay. Tan in the fourth quadrant, negative tan 60. Okay. And please use brackets. The reason why I encourage you to use brackets is because in the exam you write fast and you forget there's a multiplication sometimes between things. And then you get there and you go, but I don't know how to subtract and divide away and, and then you mess it up. So please use brackets. Even if it's positive, use brackets. This one is negative cos 24. This one is positive cos 66 degrees over sine of 48 degrees. Now, it's positive, so that's fine. Tan of 60, I can use my special angles. So I'm going to go negative root 3. Now, I'm going to try and get angles the same as far as possible. So I don't want to work with 66. So I'm going to work with 90 degrees minus 24. Because that gives me... See, and then there's a 24. So I'm going to go negative cos 24 degrees. And this one becomes sine because I'm working with 90 in the first quadrant. 24 degrees over sine 48. Now at this moment of time, this is as far as you can take it. Next year when you do trigonometry again, when you do double angles, you'll be able to take this up to a point where you can actually divide things away and those kind of things. So you can make a star next to this one and say, come back next year. Okay, come back next year. Welcome to our ladies and gents joining us. Okay? And for now, let's leave it as is. Is there any questions about this sum? Yes, please ask. Okay, I've got, I've got this inward obsession. <laughs> because I've been a teacher for so long. Is that I always try and get angles the same if they're not special angles. Because that's what teachers give marks for. So if there's 124, I'm going to try and get all of them 24. Or if there's 115, I'm going to try and get all of them 15s. Because that's what teachers give marks for. 